Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today, today's video, I'm going to uh, reattach the frame uh, to the engine of the second CBX that uh, you know I've been building to try to catch up to the uh, Left 4 Dead CBX. And I'm showing the frame here. Um, after I get the frame attached, I'm going to install the uh, the bearings that I was just pointing out there, the head bearings. But uh, Right now, I've got the engine sitting on the jack stands, uh, ready to go, and um, I will uh, show you here in the later in the video how I got the engine down on the jack stands. And as I've shown in past video uh, from the other bike, uh, you really only need two jack stands, and the engine will balance itself just fine on two jack stands. But here, I've got it on three because uh, I only have one lift. So um, without the, uh, the advantage of having the lift, you can also attach the frame to the engine if you just have the engine on the jack stands uh, and then the, the frame goes back on the engine very easily. But I have the third one there just to stabilize the back of the engine so that the weight of the frame doesn't push the back of the engine down. So uh, anyway, I'm going to now show you uh, the portion where I lower the engine down onto the jack stand. So as you can see here, I've got the engine hanging on the uh, engine hoist, which uh, if you don't have one of these engine hoists, uh, go out and get one. They're worth their weight in gold. So uh, anyway, I've got it up on the hoist here. And then the uh, jack stands magically appear when you snap your fingers, just like they did. And uh, so then you just position them under the, the, uh, the crankshaft, basically, and lower it down. And as you can see here, it, uh, the engine um, will balance itself just fine uh, if you put the jack stands right under where the uh, crankshaft is, because that's the heaviest part of the engine. And then, uh, and then here I've added the third uh, jack stand underneath, and I'm disconnecting the uh, engine hoist now. So um, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, once you get the hang of it, takes a takes a little bit of time to do it. Probably takes about a half hour or so. But once the engine is secure on it on the jack stands, then you're then you're ready to. Uh, move forward so just let the camera roll here for a minute while I am just showing um, disconnecting the engine hoist and the chains and all that and I, I already have uh, all the connectors and everything that I use for the engine already uh, ready to go so uh, if you've never done it, that might be something you have to kind of like develop. And then once you've got the uh, all the attachments uh, together, then, you know, it's a series of little angle pieces and nuts and bolts and all that. And once you get that down, then it's easy to do from then on. So now uh, to attach the frame, what I do is I take the lower motor mount right here and... Uh, and the spacer, uh, the two, uh, the, the spacer attachments and so on. And I get them onto the frame there so that when I lift the frame up and put it on the, on the engine, then all I have to do is uh, push the, uh, the motor mount bolt in. And uh, that secures the, uh, it's actually the upper rear uh, mount of the engine. And the bottom motor mount, uh, I do stick a, a bolt in there just to kind of secure it. And I'll show you that in a minute here. <clears throat> so here the engine is ready to, uh, to go. And, you know, you just kind of lift up the frame. And if you'll notice on my right hand, I've got the lower motor mount bolt in my hand. And it's a little cumbersome at first because the frame... It's not that heavy, but it's heavy enough to where it's a little awkward. So if you'll notice, I've got that bottom bolt in, and I just kind of stick it in a little bit just to kind of secure it. Then I 
hinge the the frame down and work the upper rear motor mount bolt with the spacer kind of line it up and I've also got one of the top uh, motor mounts hanging off the frame right now ready to uh, secure when I need to and that's what I'm doing here I'm sticking the uh, upper motor mount bolt through to kind of secure the top of the engine or the top of the frame to the engine that's what I'm doing here I'm attaching the bolts in the upper motor mount the small ones uh, behind the valve cover so once that's in place that places the frame in the right position then I go ahead and push in the uh, the upper rear motor mount bolt as I'm doing here and lining up the spacers and so on kind of have to work it in a little bit and then it just slides right in and now the now the frame is completely secure on the engine so I go ahead and hand tighten hand tighten I have to, I can't overemphasize that enough especially on these small rear motor mounts up there because the bolts are very very short and if you get them in there crooked then it, that's it you've stripped the threads and and that's it then I go ahead and remove the bottom motor mount for now because I have to uh, install the swing arm and all that other stuff down at the bottom before I can install that lower motor mount so here's the uh, the frame now securely attached again I've got I've got one of the upper rear uh, motor mounts the behind the valve cover attached and then the upper rear rear motor mount attached now I don't have them tightened down yet but I've just got them in there to secure the frame where it's supposed to be and at that point uh, now I'm ready to you know install the rest of the motor mounts the swing arm and the uh, the front fork assembly and so on which I'll be doing in the next video and getting the that bike up on its front wheel and front forks and so on and uh, and that'll be it then both these bikes will be caught up with one another and sitting side by side while I go ahead and you know build both bikes at the same time so um, that's pretty much gonna do it for this particular video but again I'll have another video here in a couple of days where I'll be installing the front forks and uh, the uh, swing arm and the center stand <clears throat> and so on so uh thank you so much for watching on this video and uh as usual please like share comment and subscribe it really helps the support the channel and again thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one